This will be the last setup for the season. This is kind of a special video because I show you how I built the setup up. I cut out a lot of pieces to keep it interesting. I'm not going to bore you with driving pointless lap and say, hmm, maybe it's understeering. Nothing of that. I'm just pushing through, changing the values. Maybe you can learn a thing or two. And also, don't take this as a very expert video because I'm not an expert, but I do know a thing or two about the Aston Martin. We are going to change the ride height because I just know that this car, the ride height, the aggressive preset is never the best. So at the feeling, I just say 80. I put maximum rear wing brake ducts, I believe. A lot less brake bias just from baseline. The anti-roll bars, 4 and 1. Pretty extreme to me. I'm starting to question Imola. Do we have a lot of fast corners? There's only like maybe one. For the rest, it's like mid-corner speed. So we, we don't have to rely on a lot of on very stiff spring. So I think the spring rates can go a lot lower. So we can actually benefit slow corner traction. Because now with the soft springs. I don't like how the anti-roll bar is a lot stiffer than the rear. And I want to have this on 3, on 3. Preload we put at 80. It's just because I always drive the Aston Martin. And I just know, okay? I know that these values, I think we need to start with this. So we're skipping ahead. We're changing the car massively. And this one we put at 8. Let's say we put it at 6. And uh, this value also I put for the Austin always to zero because why not? Now really I want to have the, the the wheels in in a in a straight line. This one one minus 1.0 for in front, so I keep it like it is. Tie pressure I don't know. So now we take the car out on track, drive a couple of laps, and I will really fastly determine how it's behaving and what we need to change after this. And I won't bore you with a complete warm-up lap, okay? Just we skip ahead. So let's see how this first lap goes. This is the hardest corner, I believe. I think it's already pretty decent, this first sector. This is also a tricky one. So hit the brakes there. I like this setup now. It's good. Ooh. On the curbs it's a bit uh, awkward. Rotates quite nicely. Okay, let's try one more lap. So, because the tire pressures are off, pressure is too high. So this one we put two clicks down, like this. Also, this one we can go a bit softer. Electronics. I don't want to change that. And also, I think we are looking really good here. Dampers. Now we're gonna start with dampers. Otherwise, I don't really think we need to change this. I think we can go for another few laps with the right amount of tire pressures. And I want to increase maybe the caster a little bit. So we get that more more camber when we are turning the wheel so with this one we put at 13 12.9 that's good this one we will put down as well a little bit because when I really hit it I wanted to rotate more out of the corner I think we can also decrease the brake bias even more just to get it 
make it more lively at the rear. Bombs. I'm not sure about bombs yet. We need to drive a few more laps. Gonna save this one because it was pretty good. Look at all these setups. Video. From this video, yeah? Okay. And don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with the warm up lap. So I bored myself with that warm up lap. Should be so lucky not to uh, be took part of that. That's not good. This is good. See that? That's... I think I like it. That we don't like. I think we need to have a take a look at uh, Mr. Differential here. The steer. Watch the track limits, please, Arno. Yeah, yeah. That I don't like. Yellow flag, stay sharp. One more lap, we try, we try one more lap. No, we don't try another lap. <laughs> okay. Yellow flag. Whatever. So the biggest problem is on, in the car, yeah, it's me. Because I normally I'm pushing it in VR and it's so out of my comfort zone at this point. But this, I think this one needs to go more down. The preload differential. Uh, that will make it, I believe when we go slower, it makes it a little bit better. When we go slow. And I'm going to increase the rebound on the rear. Because the rebound is really like it, it it's when when the tire is compressed and it goes down, I believe it's too slow. I, I, as soon as I hit a bump or change the direction of the car, it needs to the rear needs to do that more. And also I will increase the bump with it. B. And I know, yeah, this all these names they <laughs> I don't even know what they are anymore, so that's just me, my HDD, HDHD brain at its finest. Again, I'm not gonna bore you with the warm-up lap. Stewards have warned us for cutting the track. They'll delete this lap. Watch these track limits, please Arno. Watch these track limits, please Arno. Okay Arno, that's another cut. Track limits. I know enough. I know enough. Oh, it's so much better in VR. Oh man. Get a VR headset, man. If you don't have one, this is the best one at, at the moment, I believe. So this will be the first lap in VR, and uh, this is just how I can really go fast, yeah, because on the screen, I keep making mistakes. The lap time was at 142.52. See, a half a second. That was at 142.25, at your quickest lap in this session. That last lap was at 142.00, sector three times okay. That was a 141.76. Good lap. That's your best in the session. That lap time was 141.35. Sector three times quick. So after adjusting to the new setup, this is what I come up with. was at 141.38. So that's the second to three times fast. And uh, that's uh, that's good, yeah. This is the setup. This is the one. So I changed the rear toe just to increase a bit more stability. Also, if you still think it's too 
oversteery, you can drop the wheel right on the rear as well. And I know I've been, been joking around in this uh, last video, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to have some fun. Leave a like if you like this video. See you next season.